This video will introduce you connection and usage of displays with DSi interface produced by WaveShare. We will demonstrate with a 10.1 DSi Touch A as an example. Since different models may vary slightly in terms of cable connection and configuration methods, it is recommended to refer to the wiki page for the specific model. Prepare the above materials. First, write the Raspberry Pi image to the TF card. It is recommended to use the official Raspberry Pi system version bookworm. Open the flashing software. Select the device Raspberry Pi 5, the operating system, and TF card. Then proceed to edit settings. Check to set the host name and configure Wi-Fi. Then input the Wi-Fi name and password. Since I am now in China, I choose CN. Finally, click confirm to start flashing. After the image is flashed, go to the wiki from the details page. Open the config.txt file in the root directory of the TF card. Copy the configuration code and add it to the end of the file and save. Insert the TF card into the Raspberry Pi card slot. Use screws to secure the Raspberry Pi. Then use two pin cable to connect display power port to 5V and GNE pins on Raspberry Pi GPIO. Next, use 22-pin FFC cable to connect the display to the DSi-1 port on the Raspberry Pi motherboard. Note the direction of the cable gold finger. Turn it on and wait for a few seconds. The screen will automatically display the system interface. No additional drivers are required. Open the Screen Configuration application. Go to Screen DSi to touch screen and check the touch option. Click apply to apply the settings. Then go to the orientation menu. Select the desired rotation angle. After applying, the touch and display will be adjusted synchronously. Method one, through the system settings. Open the screen configuration application. Enter screen a DSi to brightness. Select desired brightness level. Method two, Use the Brightness Adjustment application provided by WaveShare. Log in to VNC. Execute the installation command provided in the wiki in the terminal. Once the installation is complete, you can open the application and start menu accessories at brightness to make adjustments. Some DSi displays support multiple main controllers and system platforms, and we have provided corresponding driver support for specific model and system compatibility. Please refer to the product details page for instructions. Prepare the above materials. Go to Luckfox official website, download Debian 12 image file, and flash the image to the board. After flashing is complete, insert the TF card into the Omni 3576 motherboard. Use 22-pin FPC cable to connect the display to the DSi port on the development board. Then use 2-pin cable to connect display power port to 5V and GNE pins on the development board. Connect 5V power to the motherboard. After the system starts up, the screen will automatically turn on. No additional drivers are required. The video demonstration has come to an end. If you want to know more about the WaveShare DSi screen model and how to use it, please visit the WaveShare wiki page. Thank you for watching.